Hello guys, welcome to another video from me. Uh, I finally have another bottom up shirt on because I had always the same button up shirt so I thought today I'm gonna wear another one. Uh, as you guys know uh, that I'm studying physics right now but this is only for my own belongings. Uh, for my own research and for my own um, purpose so yeah I'm studying physics and right now I'm learning uh, as you see right here on the on, on, on the on the on the chalkboard right here uh, today I was learning about f forces diagrams and forces diagrams is Newton's law included uh, Newton's law about motion motion gravity and motion uh, an object in motion can can only be moving along by pulling or by pushing pulling or pushing so that's the law of the motion and if there's no pulling or pushing the object is in a rest position it's absolutely clear for me so I wrote it uh, I, I wrote it down I prepared something and here are my notes and I want to show you something what I mean by this insight of understanding this rare quality characteristical understanding what I have I'm going to explain it here on you so this is a, uh, a, f uh, a free body diagram right this is a free body diagram and the free body diagram is that you see here a, a table from a typical engineer physicist uh, uh, table it looks most like this like force magnitude and direction for magnitude is the formula n direction is the degree little zero up there and according to those information you can get a lot of uh, uh, results out of it so when when I saw and this is the thing what I'm telling you with my rare understanding this insight perception is so that's how they draw a free body diagram they have different diagram but this is a free body diagram and when I saw that, and then let me explain you real quick. So what you see right here is, in the middle you see that object, that point, right? Or that ring. And F, F represents for forces. So we have F1, F2, uh, F2 and F3. And wherever the forces go, and the bigger the force is, the object or the ring, the point moves in the direction, right? So I saw that. So F1, F2, F3. F1 is in a zero position, which means in a positive direction from a mathematical point of view. And then we have F2, force, the force 2 has a degree of 150 degree, and F3 obvious over 180 degree is 280 degrees so we have here three forces uh, redirecting the object or the point or the ring in the middle by external forces which is represented here as f1 f2 f3 right so when I saw that the drawing in an instant this is now what I'm telling you what I'm trying to tell you in all the videos my capability of transcending rare understanding of quality and that I can transcend that in, in, a, in a bigger scale or in different fields. So when I saw that, right, the free body diagram that in the middle is the point or uh, the ring or the object and is pull it, pulled by external forces F1, F2, F3, F represents forces in the direction that is when this is the object and it's pulled in any direction 
right, you see this object is moving. If there is no direction, it stands still. If there is no external force, there is a rest position. But when I get pulled or pushed, you see my uh, fist is moving. So when I saw the direction anyway, I want to focus on that, on this visual image right here. Let me move it away. And uh, let me erase that. I can write it down later again after the video. So when I saw this diagram, free body diagram, it something popped up instantly in my mind. It somehow arose. So when I saw that, and he was explaining me how external forces works, they pulling on that dot, on that uh, zero point or at that object in the middle, the direction and the external forces uh, uh, um, causing a, a gravitational force in, in which direction it goes. When I saw that, now listen, now look at that, the astonishing thing. When I saw that, right, F for the forces, and in the middle is the ring, the, the object, and it's pulled by those three in this case, three external forces, so the dot moves either that way, that way, or that way, or that way, whatever, right? So then I was creating my own diagram. Now, this is, trans this is the, the, the rare quality of understanding, the capability what I have, to see in that little diagram. Now, look some, look, now look that. So, now, now look at my model according to the reference the little model before I just showed you so if the art let's say like this if this is if the object I'll make the dot a little bit bigger if that object or the dot is and don't say no I, I know I know I know it is because you don't know. That's what I'm telling you. Now, this is what I have discovered in an instant when I saw this uh, free body diagram. So, this is my theory. If that is true, what they're saying about a free body diagram, that an object, a point, uh, uh, the point is a zero, the point, the object, the ring, is pulled by external forces, and that creates the gravitational field and redirects that dot in, in, in any direction where it, it's uh, the external forces pushes it or pulling it. So now look at this. This is now my own style. If this is instead of the dot, instead of the dot, and I have to say it could be either this and that, and this and that I will open it as a, as a space open to put those two words in it, but we can twist it both ways around. You will, I will talk about it in a minute. So just imagine this is instead of the object, instead of the dot, this is, let's say, this is the sun or the ore or the earth. That's why I said this and that. So this is instead of the object, the point, the ring, it's the earth or the sun. We can both replace it either way. So let's say this is the sun, right? Or this is the earth. Now, this is the object, that's the ring and that's the point. Now this is the earth or the sun. Let's say just that's the, that, that's the sun. Right now, let's say this is the Venus. S. This is Venus. Let's say this is uh, Mercury. My M. And let's say this is the Earth. Because we put the sun in the middle, but we can do it also with the earth in the middle. Some interesting thing taking place. This is the earth, 
And then I don't know whatever is back there. I think like uh, uh, Mars. And then uh, let's say Jupiter. And then Pluto, something like something like this. I, I don't know exactly the, uh, the the sequences in the right direction. But let's say these are all the forces. Let's say this is F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, F6. F six. So see that instead of this, the object, the point, the, and the previous free body diagram, I replace it with the sun. The sun is the point, the object in the middle, of the ring, and is pulled or pushed by these forces. F for forces. F one, F two, F three, F four, five, and six. And the external forces. creates this gravitational field where the dot the point in this in my new model the sun so the the ver like let's say the, the the venus mars um, no mercury earth moon pluto whatever these are all the external forces and when i do it like this not good bear with me bear with me you see that ching ching now, and these forces You got it? So that's my, my conclusion, my rare understanding in a trans transcendental understanding that when I see the free body diagram from engineers and physicists I instantly saw it in a globe in a more global way that the forces the external forces are the planets Venus Mercury Earth Moon uh, Pluto uh, Jupiter and what not in other planets they are the external forces they surrounding the Sun in the middle and according to each planet because each planet has its own way its own mass right so by having the information of the mass of a planet times the distance times uh, the distant times square you can see how strong the force is from each planet to the Sun I hope you get what I'm trying to say so that's very very interesting and I figured that out by myself by just looking at a free body diagram right and that would be really interesting that you can if you know then the mass of each planet and the dis distance from each planet from the planet to the Sun then you can really find out the gravitational external force that it's pulling the Sun away or pushing towards the Sun but in relation to all the other planets right so it's like So then the other interesting thing is because there are two verses of what people in, 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 in the metaphysical and physics and in and, and, and other 
fields people are still discussing if earth is the center of the of the solar of the of in our system or if the sun is in our is the the middle point of the system i by myself think that earth but it's hard to say because uh, so either if if earth is in the middle of our solar system or the sun is the middle of our uh, solar system i heard both sides and I will investigate both sides, but that's the interesting part. So the external forces, which are the planets, Mars, Pluto, uh, uh, Mercury, uh, uh, Moon, etc., that those external forces represent by F1, F2, F3, F4, uh, pulling or pushing the point, the object, the sun, the moon, and redirects the gravitational field. So it's very interesting, right? So uh, I hope you understood something or grasped something about this insight, what, I've, what I'm trying to explain to you, and I hope it makes sense. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.